Special treat for you tonight. I'm with my nephew Alan. It's weird saying nephew, man. I ain't that much older than you, but man, <laughs> oh, whatever. It happens. <laughs> <laughs> the joys of marriage, right? Exactly. Uh, Alan's channel is called Trash Two Treasures, and it's spelled just like that Trash, the number two, treasures, plural. Please check out his channel. There'll be a link in the description below. Now, we have something really interesting. So, tonight we started out and the main objective of our night was to go to this abandoned school. Well, we get there, it's not accessible, so we're driving by this abandoned building right here. There's holes in the roof, broken glass, boarded, boarded up, up windows, there's a couple of satellite things turned over on the side of the building, so we're like, alright, let's check this out, this is really cool. Well, we walk up to it, past the beehives, the soffit that's fallen down. And we're like, we realize there's a sticker on the window, but we won't advertise that, but it was a radio station. We're like, whoa, we're filming an abandoned radio station. Never did that before. Curious to see what's inside. But here's the really, really bizarre thing. We walk up there, this dilapidated, falling down building, and we could hear a broadcast coming out of the building. I kid you not, guys. Now, got it's got me really curious. I, I need to, now, I wish I can get inside this There's building. a few <laughs> questions that come to mind. Is it a hub that's just broadcasting and they, the radio station uses this? Fine, that may be the case. But there's holes in the ceiling. So that means it's probably moldy inside or raining. So would you keep your electronics in there running? And, uh, getting wet? I don't know. I now, there's, an, there's an AC unit that's running. Could be used to cool servers. I don't know what, we, what we stumbled upon, but we just had to show you guys because this is bizarre. And uh, we looked up, because this is our second <laughs> time back here now tonight. Yeah. We looked it up. The When this building was active, the host of this station... Yes, he passed. Passed in 2020. All right. So you know what that means? We're going to check it out. You're coming with. You ready? Oh, yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> right, clearly, you can see, and I'm just going to point out some things. There's garbage thrown about. There's no cars in this parking lot other than my own car. Okay. And uh, you can clearly see there's a board over the vent. There's garbage. There's an unkept lawn. But that, but wait, there's more. <laughs> There's a hole in the roof here, and the soffit's falling off. You could see that, right? Yeah, if you step back from Might be a little uh, cut in the video right there because uh, I'm not gonna show the uh, building, uh, the name of the radio station. There's a beehive right there, okay? Roof falling in, there's holes up there. That's straight through. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can see right inside the building. Yeah. There's holes in the roof, okay? Right there and right there. Big, massive holes, right? You can see that. Now we're going to bring you over this way. <laughs> I'm going to shut this light. Okay, there you go, guys. Hold Look it. at that. 
It's an abandoned radio station that's still playing music. What the hell is this? <laughs> this is insane. Dude, this is, an, this is a weird anomaly. So here's the deal. You could clearly hear there's a broadcast and they're playing what the world needs now is love, sweet love, right? So, okay, there's more to this place that is so bizarre. Yo, bro, I almost tripped. Broken window. Look, there's a broken window right there. Yeah. Boarded up windows here. How is this abandoned radio station broadcasting? And why would you? Look, there's holes in the building. Look, there's water getting in there. There's mold. How are you broadcasting? Need firewood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, this is actually comical. But we're walking through some very, very questionable stuff here, guys. All right, I, I, I got to tell you, I'm at a loss, Ellen. So it has two central air units, but that AC unit right there is on, which if this the is... The windows back here are boarded up. Yeah. But if this is... The whole house is sinking. Look at it. This is all cracked. But here's the scary part. What is that AC cooling? I don't know. And look, what is, what's moving in the grass? Something just looked like it slithered across the grass. Good thing I'm wearing boots. <laughs> yeah, you're wearing boots. I'm... I'm yeah, see, what the hell was that? Something growled too. Did you hear that? Yep. Uh, Alright, well. Yeah, bro. central air. Well, the central air has been stripped out, yeah. it looks like, a little bit. Bro, there's a, there's a path that goes behind this yeah, building. Don't go, because you risk brain damage going There's through. another building there. That's the control tower for the AM towers. Yeah, let's yeah. not go back there and get radiation poisoning. There is an AC unit going right here, folks. And you could hear them broadcasting in there. I don't know how to explain this. Yeah, I don't, it's not in the camera view or zoom. But over here, there was a person over there and he moved and I was out. So there's, there's not only are they broadcasting out of this building, but apparently there's homeless people in the woods. Which is bad because the radiation you're going to get from this broadcast tower is not good for your brain. <laughs> yeah, so if you look here, guys. If you're back there, we're just taking pictures. We're not going to bother you. Beyond this point, radio frequency fields at this site exceed the FCC rules for human exposure. What? So this station was put up in the 50s. Now we know why. Well, if it's not supposed to be used, why is it still broadcasting? Oh, man. So this is just a bizarro place, man. So there's homeless people in the woods behind it. <laughs> what? I mean, I'm going to still leave some water and stuff. I always keep that in the back of the car. But what's going on at this place? You could clearly see. That's, I don't think you can see through there. Or can you? There's one missing, but it's too tinted, I can't see. Watch out for the bees. That is a lot of bees. This is actually quite comical, man. Yeah. Um, oh, 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 what? that's moving. What? <laughs> I did not imagine that. Watch the f lines, they all started moving, pardon my French. Where? Yep, they're all, they're moving this way. And the whole thing started swaying while we were standing there and they opened. These were closed. Oh my All right, goodness. So, uh, so here's the deal. How is it possible, honestly, that somebody's in that building with holes in the roof? I mean, there has to be so much mold in that building. And listen, if I had a job working there, I'd be creeped <laughs> yeah, yeah. out, man. 
Listen, we're going to put you overnight in this uh, this abandoned looking building. <laughs> <laughs> Bring an umbrella while you're sitting at your desk because it might rain on your head. What's yeah. your take? Um, I don't know if I had my hat on. The whole thing, if I did, I lost it. Um, I don't think you came out with your hat Okay, tonight. good. I, th- uh, <laughs> yeah, I just, so. I looked, I'm like, oh, I'm bald, I don't have my hat on. <laughs> um, that's a really cool building. I don't know how it's functional. I don't know how it's broadcasting. Apparently, those towers shouldn't be broadcasting because it's going to fry your brain. Mm-hmm. And now we know there's someone in the building and behind the building. Well, I would not work there. There is someone <laughs> in the building. Is it, it could have been could the have been. AC unit blowing the thing. Uh, that's in the other room on the other side. A, is mm. it paranormal? I don't know. It could be. Is that radio host still broadcasting? That's the question. He died in 2020. Building hasn't been touched. Is he still there? All right. So I'm sitting here <laughs> thinking in my head, uh, wow. What was that? My phone. Oh. Ugh. All right, so we're going to start moving on. Maybe we'll stop somewhere else and add to this video, but man, it's been a crazy night, and I think it's time for us to move on while the getting's good. We'll be back. In downtown Winter Haven. Is this Winter Haven? Yep. This is the old Ritz Theater um, that they restored, right? Yeah, now they do plays and shows and all kinds of stuff in here. Oh, that's pretty cool. This is the downtown area. It looks really historic and nice. Uh, also, the original public supermarket is over here, right? Yeah, we passed it. It's behind us now. Yeah. It is what? What time is it? It's 1.05 in the morning. We are out you know, looking at abandoned uh, radio stations with a ghost inside. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was in there? I don't think that that place is even safe for humans to be in with all that mold. Oh, and so, with that radiation. Right. That sign concerned me when I actually read it. <laughs> right. It's definitely uh, definitely uh, concerning. I, I don't know what's going on. Plus, we took the liberty to look up this radio station. They are in business still, but they list a different address as their address. So, what's up with that? Yep. At this light, we're going to make a left. All right. Anyway, just wanted to show you guys a little bit of this historic downtown Winter Haven, Florida. Nice. All right, make a left here. Yeah, there's an abandoned auto shop. It's somewhere on this street, too. Oh, really? Maybe we'll check that out, guys. All right, well, we'll be back. Love and peace. We are having way too much fun. So we're at a cemetery now. We just came from the haunted radio station. I'm convinced that that place is haunted. And now look at this mausoleum, boy. If we can get in here, what? This place looks scary as can be. You know what that means? What? We're gonna go in. <laughs> All right. So, oh man, oh, is, oh. Now I know why we have the cemetery cleanup thing here. Yeah. Lots of uh, sock issues out here. Hello, we're home. It's locked up tight, bro. So you can't win them all. But we're at a creepy cemetery. Let's look around, see what we can find. This is, this is sad. It is sad. Look at that. There's liquor bottles. Wow. There's garbage all over. I'm glad that So when we came in, we saw, yeah, there's a sign that says they're going to clean this place up. And of course, there's Old Glory right there. Yeah. All right. Was that? I do not know. Let's go see. That is a, that is like screaming. There's a woman saying something. How, how creepy was that, huh? I want to 
I mean, it could be, it could be, yeah, that could be coming from the road. sounded like a woman. There's another instance of a woman's voice. But you know what? If you look around, though, there are businesses out there. So it could have been coming from one of those businesses. Strange, right? This mausoleum, though, honestly, like, you think they would do something to make it look not so sinister? <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, it's just this, like that cement color. There's no. That was a horn. Was that a horn? Yeah, okay. it made me jump there. <laughs> yeah, I'm jumpy here. I'm going to get my phone and maybe try the Necrophonic app or something. Or the voice recorder. So, uh, I'm going to try the voice recorder here tonight and uh, see if we pick up anything. Certainly we heard a woman, but that could be from, you know, coming from the road. It, What's that? It happened again. What? The second you said woman, it happened again and it's coming. Oh, how cool is that? Okay, maybe it is paranormal. I'd like to believe it. Let me grab my phone. It's windy out here, guys. Sorry about the wind noise. If you pick some up. Alright, so... Clearly, you can see this place is creepy. Um, so, let's try the voice recording see if we happen to pick up anything here and uh, let's do it if there's any spirits here please let yourself be known tonight and speak into this phone do you have a question you'd like to ask Who resides in that mausoleum? <laughs> that is a pretty big building. <laughs> and who resides in the, in the radio, radio station? station yeah. <laughs> wow. We find I just out that guy's in that now. mausoleum. <laughs> Maybe it is the businesses I keep hearing, like talking. Lastly, are we in any danger of being here? Or, second question. What was that? Was there a person inside that radio station or was that a spirit? We need to venture over there with that voice recorder because there's definitely a woman over there. Yeah, so let's listen back and see if we can capture anything and then we're going to go over there. There's, I mean, again, it could be coming from the business, you know, so we don't know yet, but uh, let's find out what we just recorded and... Uh, let yourself be known tonight and speak into this phone. Do you have a question you'd like to ask? Oh, do you want to get this too? Yeah, it's uh... Who resides in that mausoleum? <laughs> That's a pretty big building. <laughs> and who resides in the radio station? <laughs> yeah. Wow. We find out that guy's in that mouse. There's a the noise <laughs> that keeps, it's Maybe like a pattern that's on that. Lastly, are we in any danger being here or. Yeah, it's going. Second question. What was that? Was there a person inside that radio station or was that a spirit? The woman at the end goes, You listen right here. Or was that a spirit? Yeah, I wasn't imagining that. Right here. So a woman says something. What was that? Was there a person inside that radio station? Or was that a spirit? The something said. Now, in fairness... I need to venture over there with that voice recorder. I could be misconstruing our breathing with a woman talking. Sure sounds like a woman talking on there. Let me know what you guys think. Doesn't make a, that doesn't explain the screams, though. Yeah, let's go check it out. <laughs> I love this stuff, guys. Yep. I really, truly do. There's something definitely wrong with me.
I'm really digging the flag tonight. It just looks so, I don't know, majestic maybe. I don't know, it's got a really nice look to it. And I can't get over this. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I don't know anything about this cemetery. I couldn't tell you. Uh, I don't even know what town we're still in, to be honest with you. Oh, where is this? Is in Winter Haven. Okay. So I don't know if our cameras would have picked that up. I hope so. It smells like formaldehyde, right? Is that what you're smelling? That's what it smells like to me. Oh no, wait, there's also a, a smell of sulfur. Yeah. It smells like poo poo caca doo doo over here. I don't know why. Man, this place is, uh, it's a nice cemetery, but I could see why they're doing a cleanup here. There's, there's lots of garbage, and especially in front of the mausoleum. I never really, initially, I should say, enjoyed doing cemetery videos, but now I kind of do. It's actually kind of refreshing to get out and do a video that's not in an abandoned place, that <laughs> you're not breathing in all kinds of nasty stuff, and um, get some fresh air while you make the videos, and suffice it to say... Is there a light coming from there? Uh, no. Yeah, there is a light there coming is. from there. Oh, that was a good pickup. I didn't see that. So there's light in the mausoleum. I think. Yeah, look. Anyway, I was saying, uh, I now like doing cemetery videos more than I ever did. But let's see. Shut this off. Yeah, there is a a little very faint light in there. I wonder if it's a candle burning. Yeah. Pretty pretty neat place, but it almost looks like something from medieval times, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. You hear that? What is that? It's interesting. I mean, obviously there's contamination from the businesses around us, but it sounds like once in a while there's a little whisper in the wind, doesn't it now? At least to me it does. Yeah. I, I, want, I want, really want to hear that woman again. Yeah. Maybe we could uh, go sit somewhere and try the necrophonic app for a few minutes and we'll call it a night. It's over two in the morning at this point. Now, Alan's old, but I'm older. <laughs> you know, I need my rest. <laughs> you know that. Heard it again. You did? See, it's I didn't a, it hear it. It was a whisper. Yeah, so I, I agree. I. If it sounds, and again, that could be misleading because it sounds like what would be us picking up a voice. Again, it's hard to tell. It's a little windy tonight. I think I'm going to 
set my camera up over here and we'll do some Necrophonic app, maybe. Turn the light up. Alright. Yeah, you hear that? Now I hear it. Did you hear the footsteps? You heard footsteps? Yeah. Alright. Alright, guys, so we're picking up. Well, Alan heard footsteps. I pretty, pretty much can say I think I heard talking, but I, I can't say it's paranormal. I don't know if it's from around here, but anyway, got two cameras. <laughs> Let me, uh, let's try this, and we could ask questions, right, and see what, yeah. And then we gotta go to bed. This is the geriatric channel. <laughs> <laughs> two old men exploring. All right, so necrophonic. All right, if there's a spirit here that can wants to communicate and use this device to uh, talk to us, please do so. And uh, to prove, and, and again, I want to preface this. Um, so I don't, I'm not endorsing necrophonic, and I don't know if what we're picking up is real. It's just a sound bank of words. Is it possible that a spirit can manipulate this? It's possible, right? I don't know. But in the past, I have picked up things that were very relevant to what I was doing. Either names or voices that sounded like people I knew or, um, you know, like I mentioned, like, let's say I saw a knife and then this said knife. Like, I, again don't know but let's give it a shot so my question is if you are real say one of our names real First <laughs> so it said real something really not our names but I said real okay what would you like to ask I still would like to know um did spirit follow us from the radio station over to the cemetery? Ooh, that's a good question. All right. Uh, yeah, the hiccups. All right, so uh, my question is, Inside the radio station, was there a human being or was that paranormal? whisper like that. Really? Ever. That was weird. Okay, so then, Alan, what was your next question that you'd like to ask this? Oh, good question. I actually am drawing a blank. I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> All right, fair I see who's, who's actually here with us now, watching what we're doing. Yeah. Can you give us, okay, so who's watching what we're doing? And if you are watching us, can you tell us something of relevance that would make us know that you are legitimately with us? Did we just get cursed out? I think we did. <laughs> One of the word banks is F U? What? <laughs> Human? Um, So, thus far, I, I really can't definitively say that we picked up anything, but my next question is, who is the woman that's here? How about that question? Because we, we heard a woman. That's what I'm talking about. Too. 
So at this point, it's really hard to say. Um, one thing I'm, I'm, I'm doing differently with the videos is making sure that um, I don't get overzealous and jump into, hey, it's definitely paranormal. Um, just trying to find the answers, that's all. Um, it's hard to say. Uh, what app are you using? The here? Necrometer. Okay, there's a new app. Well, I never used it, so okay. So I've seen me. people use it. So it's it just it pretty much scans, uh -huh. gives you the UV, well the UV frequency of where we're at, mm -hmm. and if something wants to talk, this will. Travel. Okay, so the word travel just gives. It's kind of like spirit talker in a way. Yeah, gotcha. well, it's made by the same people that make the Necrophonic. Okay. Um. So, so what is would there be a woman here with us? Blackmail. Who blackmailed you? Are you being blackmailed? It's no. eerily quiet here. Yeah, it wasn't always here before. It would be interesting if you could say my name. Or say his name. Okay, so high activity here. Yeah. I'm curious. So it said I am dead. That again. Ooh, word banks. Okay. Got more over here. <laughs> Excuse me guys. It's freezing cold, I've been sneezing. Hopefully I'm not getting a cold. Oh, you can see in the window with my light here. Really? Yeah, if you want to sh put your camera on here, it's Let's actually Let's take a peek through. in the window. I go through that glass while I got this up. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. Okay. River. Pretty nice River. in there, quite frankly. Well, this is where we all wind up, folks. The memory. Basically. Sad. Yep. Yeah. Alright, man, so you want to start heading home? Or yeah. you want to do a little more? How you feeling? Woman. Woman. Are you the Whoa, woman man. that we've been hearing here in the cemetery? I guess we'll wait for a so, response. Hey, I'll you. keep it running. So this is what I Frequencies. think I keep hearing here. Breathing. I've heard whispers. I heard the breathing when we played back the right. the voice recorder. Right. We definitely heard the screams about three times. Right. Um, but yeah, along the backside here, I hear whispering. Um, I haven't heard breathing other than the voice recorder mm -hmm. while I was walking around. But there's definitely something. There's there's something with us here. It, it does feel that True. way. True. Well, if you're with us here, can you tell us who you are? What is your name? Doesn't like that question. <laughs> <laughs> are you ready to go call this, or how you feeling? Yeah, I'm I think good. I'm good. Yeah, it's two in the morning. All right, guys, thank you for joining tonight. And thank you, Alan, for uh, taking me on an awesome adventure tonight. Um, this is great. So please check out Alan's channel. Again, it's called Trash, the number two, treasures, plural. And uh, check out his channel. There'll be a link in the description below. Show them some love. And uh, I'm, I'm ready to go to bed. How about you? Yeah, I'm at that point now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and we'll, we'll wait. wait. And I guess see. we're going to wait and see. Wait and see what? Exactly. I don't know. I know what I I know what I want to see. That's the back of my eyelids and go to bed. <laughs> Love you guys. Good night. Peace.